YouTube. What's up, YouTube? Pablo Nelson here coming at you with another video. And today we have a new addition to the family. This is Blue. Blue is a lilac Frenchie. You guys know Zeus from the previous video. Um, we went through a lot to get Blue. Like I said, they call her a lilac. She has one blue eye, one gray eye. It seems like they change colors. But um, in this video, we're going to tell you a little bit about how we got blue and how to avoid scams while trying to acquire your Frenchie. All right? Tune in. All right, YouTube, we back in. Got the baby girl blue with me. I also have Bella with me. Don't mind the hair, it's early in the morning. And I also have Sean. Sean, the wild boy. Sean. Okay, the wild boy. Sean of the wild boys here. Hello, Bella. All right. So you can follow those guys on YouTube. Okay. Um, you can also follow Zeus and Blue on TikTok. All right. They're the biggest, they're the biggest TikTokers in the house and all of that. But anyway. Anyway, guys, um, like I said, we went through a lot trying to get this Frenchie. It's a lot of scams out there, okay? If, for those of you who don't know, these Frenchies are a pretty pricey pet, okay? Blue here could go upwards of $8,000, okay? We paid less than $8,000, but nonetheless, it was a couple thousand, you know, definitely a couple thousand to, to acquire this dog. The same way thing with Zeus. Now, if you're looking for one of these dogs, guys, most people like we did, you know, you're going to go on your Facebook. You're going to, you know, go to the Facebook and, you know, there's a lot of Frenchie groups. A lot of animal groups in general, a lot of dog groups. Okay, we uh, we placed a lot of phone calls. We uh, spoke to a lot of people, and a lot of those people were scammers. Okay, we came across a lot of scammers trying to sell these dogs. Matter of fact, I don't even believe they had the dogs. You see what I'm saying? There's nothing to Still a picture of a dog, even video for that matter, you know, and um, put it up there. You know, people don't know. People don't know. So we was on Facebook. We was on Facebook. We uh, spoke to this one. I'm not even going to call him a gentleman, but we spoke to this one guy. And, uh, you know, he was quick to... As for a deposit, a lot of people, you know, they try to get you with these deposits. You know what I mean? Now, the deposit, like I said before, on the low end, on the low end, one of these dogs is going to cost you about $3,000. And that's on the low end. That's on the very cheap end. So, three grand. Let's just say, let's play nice and say 2000 is the bare minimum you can acquire one of these dogs. Not not this particular one, because this color, you know what I mean, is rare. So, for the sake of arguing, we'll just say $2,000 minimal. Alright? Alright, so a lot of people are asking for deposits for these dogs. Okay? Now, normally, you know, when you have a, when you have a litter or whatever, and, you know, you're trying to sell your litter... I can understand if the pups are newborn and they're not ready to leave the mom. So, all right, leave a deposit to lock that pup in. But if the pups are ready to be sold, if they're ready to be sold, and you have all the cash to cash out on that specific puppy that you want, there is no need for you to leave a deposit. Okay? Do not leave a deposit if the puppy is ready to be sold. Okay? I had one gentleman. I had one gentleman. 
um, tell me that, you know, the puppy is ready to go, but we require a $500 deposit. I'm like, why do you need a 500? Sorry, I think the a little stains on my shirt, but that's beside the point. I'm like, why do you need a $500 deposit when I'm ready to give you everything you're asking for for the dog? You know what I mean? Oh, we want to know if you're, you know, you're serious, this and that. I'm very serious. Are you serious? Well, you know, my wife needs the $500 so she can get the dog ready. What do you mean get the dog ready? Put the dog in the car. Tell me where to meet you at with the cash. You see what I'm saying? Plain and simple. So at that point, I knew that this gentleman was a scammer. You know what I mean? He's trying to scam for a $500 deposit. I'm like, why would you want a $500 deposit on this dog? On this dog. And um, I'm ready to give you the whole, the whole cash. You know, you got to excuse me, guys. I have, I have people sitting in. You know what I mean? I have people sitting in, so I'm all, I, I'm all over the place with it. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, what we're talking about is something very serious, okay? We're talking about something very serious right now. The gentleman asked, where would, where would I uh, like to meet him at? You know, another thing, if you're worried about sketchy deals or this and that, meet somebody at a populated area. You know what I mean? Try not to go to anybody's home. You see what I'm saying? Because like I said, nine times out of ten, these people don't even have the dogs. So try to avoid going to people's houses. You see what I'm saying? Have them meet you at a, a, a police station, a, a, a supermarket parking lot. You know what I mean? Try to make your deals in the daytime when there's people around. To avoid the scams, to avoid you from getting robbed. Somebody know you pulling up with five thousand, six thousand dollars on you, trying to purchase one of these dogs. What's to stop them from robbing you? They know you have the cash on you. And another thing, if the people is asking for these deposits, and you 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 know you you want to leave a deposit, you want to lock it in, you want to you know what I mean? If you get that urge. Do it via PayPal. Because with PayPal, you could get your money back. You see what I'm saying? If the deal don't go right, you could get that money back. Okay? It's a lot of scammers out here trying to take advantage of people trying to acquire one of these dogs, folks. All right? Here, Sean. Hey, okay? So, I need you guys to be aware of what's going on out here. Like I said, these are not cheap dogs, and everybody's trying to make a come up. We are still coming out of a pandemic. The job certainty is uh job uncertainty is at an all time high. You know, when it's a lot of scammers out here taking advantage of folks, people. All right. So I need you guys to be smart. Um another thing, another thing. When you when when you're uh, when when you're meeting with someone, and they're supposed to have paperwork, make sure you get that paperwork. Make sure if they say the dog is AKC, make sure the paperwork. You know, make sure you see those AKC American Kennel Club paperwork. All right, make sure you see that. A lot of the exotic Frenchies, the Merles, the the um. I'm not too sure about the lilacs, you know what I mean? I'm not too sure, but I definitely know the merle, the, the ones with the colors that everybody want. Those cannot be registered. Those cannot be AKC because the American Kennel Club does not even, um, they don't even uh, recognize those dogs. You see what I'm saying? So they was mixed with something to get that color. You know what I mean? So... Your specific AKC Frenchie, one of the main ones is Zeus. Zeus is Brindle. That's a color that's definitely recognized. Brindle is the the first, you know what I mean? Frenchie bulldog color. Brindle. Alright, that's one of them for sure. 
So I need you guys to do your homework a little bit. But the main purpose of this video is for you not to get scammed. Now, like I was saying earlier, these people are big on deposits and the deposit may be $50. The deposit may be $30. The deposit may be $100, $500. Like I said, these dogs are 2000 minimum on up to 10,000 on up to 50,000 on up to a hundred thousand depending on the lineage the dna of the dog the structure of the dog things like that do your research you know, i'm not pulling these numbers out the sky this is what these kind of dogs go for so you may say all right i'm about to buy a, a purchase of five thousand dollar dog a hundred dollar deposit ain't bad fifty dollar deposit five hundred dollar deposit ain't bad people and I, I understand the grand scheme of things you're thinking you know i leave the deposit that's going to deduct off the price you guys are leaving a deposit on nothing these people do not have the dogs you see what i'm saying they don't have the dogs okay i was about to drop a $200 deposit not on blue because we were supposed to get a we were supposed to get a merle we were supposed to get a merle dog and um the gentleman wanted the $200 deposit matter of fact I blocked his ass I blocked his ass on Facebook cuz it got it got kind of kind of creepy I was going to pull the messages up and I think I, uh, uh, you know what, here it go, here it go, this guy right here, this guy right here, okay, this guy right here, this is the dog, this is the dog that we were supposed to purchase, okay, this dog right here um very pretty dog okay you can make this dog you get a lot of colors out this dog if that's what you're interested in doing like i said we're looking for, we were looking for a pet um the gentleman wanted a 200 dollars deposit for this dog which isn't bad you know what i mean i did some digging i spoke to him on the phone mind you they're so good i facetimed them via facebook and that's another thing. If you guys are going to leave deposits on these dogs, make sure you have a phone number. Okay? I asked the guy for his phone number. He sent me a, a Google a Google Voice number. Okay, Google Voice is nothing but an app. You could if you have Wi-Fi, you could get a Google Voice number. If you don't want to give somebody your cell phone number, and you could use that to call people. This guy hit me up on Google Voice and told me, um, yeah, it's a $200 deposit, man, and I'll have the dog to you in the morning. I'll have the dog. I'll deliver the dog to you. Okay, cool. I asked him, where was he? He's about two hours away from where I live, so I'm not taking no two-hour drive. All right? Deliver me the dog. Went to the bank. About to send this man this $200. And Chanel or Chanel G did a little bit of research and said, I think this guy's a scam. I Googled his name and all this stuff started popping up. Okay. So um, I called a gentleman. Spoke to him on the phone. And no, oh, man, you know, somebody hacked my page. Somebody stole my page and this and that and... You know, I, I'm, I'm trying to get my page back. Facebook won't take it down. Now, that happened to me before. Somebody hacked my Instagram account. They, they literally went on and copied everything on my Instagram. Copied my whole page and was DMing. Go ahead, take it to your mouth. And was DMing my followers to send them some money posing as me. Now, if you know me personally... I'm not going to ask you for money. 
Okay, I'm not going to ask you for money. So, it's, it's a lot of scams out here with everything, people. Be careful. So, you know, all right, cool. Somebody hacked your Facebook. That's fine. Like I said, that happened to me before with Instagram. So, I'm like, well, send me your number. So, he sent me a number. I call the number. It's Google Voice. I hang up. I'm about to give you all these thousands. And you can't even give me your phone number. That sounds like a scam to me. So, once I hang up, that number calls me back. So now I'm on the phone talking to the guy. And I don't like where the conversation is going. He, man, send the deposit, boo, 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 boo. So while I'm talking to this guy, another guy calls. So I literally had to put... The, the first guy on hold, and mind you, the guy who called me didn't even sound like the guy that I was talking to on Facebook. The guy I was speaking with on Facebook had like a, a Russian accent. The guy that called me on the phone had a Haitian accent. All right? So now I'm talking to this guy. I'm like, bro, you don't even sound like the way you did on Facebook. Oh, it's me, you know, my, my voice, this and that. You know, these guys will tell you anything to get that money up out of you. They will tell you anything to get that money up out of you. Be careful, people. Don't fall for the games. So now the second guy called, while, while I'm on the phone with the first guy, the other guy called, and he tells me, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm here. Are you going to send the money? I'm like, wait a minute. I'm on a, I thought I was on the phone with you. But that's not even the crazy part. The crazy part is the background. Mind you, it's about 11 p.m. where I am, nighttime. This guy calling me. I hear roosters crowing. I hear birds chirping. There's no way you're in the same state as me. And you have birds chirping and roosters crowing, bro. You know what I mean? So no wonder you wanted that $200 deposit. Because $200 may not be anything to us. But overseas, $200 USD is a lot more. You see what I'm saying? Our money mean a lot more to them in these other countries than they do here. I spoke to someone who got scammed out of a $30 deposit on a dog. You see what I'm saying? So, it's ridiculous, guys. Anyway, that's my take on it. You guys seen Blue. You guys already know Zeus. You will be seeing a lot more of Blue and Zeus. You know what I mean? And also, you can follow these guys on TikTok. Because they are heavy. They are heavy on TikTok. Zeus and Blue. I don't know if you can see it. Zeus, Blue, two Frenchies. Okay? So you can follow them on TikTok, guys. That's their TikTok. They're, they're the biggest TikTokers in the house. All these guys do is stay on TikTok. Alright? So you can follow them for sure. And, um, you know, I just wanted to... I just wanted to give you that. I just wanted to give you that. All right? Be careful. Be vigilant. Don't fall for the scammers, guys. There's a lot of scammers out there. If you catch a dog that's ready to be sold and you have all the money, do not send a deposit. And um, in another video I'm going to release, I'm going to tell you how to make sure you don't get scammed all right i told you the scams in this one the next one i'm gonna tell you how not to get scammed okay that's it guys thanks for tuning in pablo nelson maria bella and sean for the wild me. boys subscribe to my youtube channel it's team unicorn team unicorn sean you got something to say uh. 
nothing. Okay, he's the he's the wild boys. He's the wild boys on YouTube. Subscribe, guys. And uh that's it. We're out. Peace.